Oh, these kebabs smell beautiful. We've tested this recipe many times and it works perfectly well. This is a low carb recipe. Our kebabs are already smelling amazing, lovely, and we're ready to eat. So slightly exotic flavors today. I'll be cooking a chicken kebab recipe with kachumba salad and mint chutney. This is a low carb recipe and it won't take you much more than 30 minutes to prepare. So let's get started. Oven is preheating at 200 degrees and I'm gonna start by making the kebab mix. So you could easily prepare this kebab mix up to 24 hours in advance and you could use your barbecue if you wanted. Half of the onion will be used for the kebabs and the other half will be used for the salad. So I've microwaved my ghee in this large bowl where we're gonna make the kebab mixture. I'm gonna put in half of the onion. So I've got some chicken mince here and then we're gonna add in the spices. So I've got garam masala, I've got cumin powder, I have coriander powder and chili powder. If cooking for smaller children, you might only use half of it or omit the chili powder. So today in our shish kebabs, we're gonna add in some marmite. Marmite is a yeast extract and it's got this great umami flavor. I'm gonna add in a tiny bit of salt as well. So now the longer you have to prepare these kebabs, the better. But trust me, we've tested this recipe many times and it works perfectly well on a busy weeknight as well. Get your hands a little bit wet with fresh water. And if you're cooking for two, you can expect to make about eight kebabs from this mixture. So you can start by making, for instance, eight balls that are more or less equal size. Perfect. And all it is now is to prepare this kind of kebab-shaped, quite thin cylinders. So now, if you were doing these on your barbecue a bit later on, this is when you would put in your bamboo skewer or any kind of other skewer inside. And you can pat them a little bit to make sure they're more or less equal in thickness. I think that's the most important because that will guide your cooking time and make sure you've got them all nicely cooked through. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna bake these shish kebabs in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. So now for the salad, I already have the red onions and then I'm gonna start with my baby gem lettuce and just do some rough chops. I'll start by halving the cherry tomatoes, just like that. Okay, and finally the cucumber. So the cucumber, I'm just gonna remove the ends, then cut it in half and I'm gonna make some small half moons like this. So we've got a very simple salad with just a little bit of lemon juice and salt because we're going to have a nice chutney to go on the side as well. So I'm just going to squeeze half of the lemon into the salad. Now if you're preparing your salad way in advance then obviously you can put the lemon juice or squeeze the lemon juice only right before serving but our kebabs are already smelling amazing in the oven so we're nearly ready to eat. Just one last step, let's prepare the chutney. So for the chutney, we're gonna need some garlic. I'm just gonna peel it and chop it quite roughly. I have some coriander and I have mint, so I'm gonna give them a good rinse. So the coriander, you can use the stems for the chutney, but not for the mint. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the leaves. We're gonna put in our blender the remaining of the lemon juice. Then next, we're gonna add the garlic, the mint leaves. I'm gonna chop and add the coriander. We're gonna add in honey. And finally, we're gonna add in the yogurt. So I have some full fat yogurt here, a tiny bit of salt for flavoring, and we're ready to blitz. And this is our chutney. So these kebabs smell beautiful and they've got a nice golden color as well. I can't wait to try them. I'm gonna start by putting on the salad. Then I'm gonna put in the chutney in my little uh, bowl on the side. It's got a beautiful green color. I'm gonna lift a couple of beautiful kebabs on my plate. And then the final touch is the fried onions. So I'm gonna sprinkle the fried onions on top of the kebabs. Lovely, and we're ready to eat. For more speedy, low calorie recipes, you can click here. But from my side, bon appetit. Thank <laughs> you.